Hey guys, this is Gerald with Cigar Stream. Now, I was recently watching cigar reviews on YouTube, and I was watching one of my favorite cigar reviewers, Martin Amaya of Martin Amaya Cigar Reviews. If you've not seen his channel, I recommend checking him out. And he was talking about how we all have that special cigar just kind of sitting in our human or waiting on that special occasion. However, we're just never promised tomorrow. And it got me thinking. I do have a handful of Cuban cigars sitting in my humidor. Been kind of waiting on them to get some age before I review them, but you are not promised tomorrow. So why not go ahead and enjoy one today? And today I grabbed the H. Upman Connoisseur Number 1. This is a cigar I'm really not familiar with at all, but I am definitely looking forward to smoking it. It is a Cuban. I don't have a lot of experience with Cubans, but I'm definitely anticipating that this one's going to be a good stick. So stick around, guys. The review's coming up. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel and you enjoy cigar reviews and cigar related artwork, consider clicking that subscribe button. All right guys, before I go outside and light the cigar, I have to say I do live in the Houston area. It is August and it is absolutely miserable outside. I think today my Jeep said it was like 101 degrees. So I'm trying to minimize my time outside so that I can uh, enjoy the whole experience. But I'm a little behind in my cigar reviews just due to the heat. So I do need to smoke one uh, this evening. And I have to say, I'm definitely still looking forward to this stick. Heat or no heat, I think it's gonna be a very enjoyable cigar. Now this particular cigar, the Vitola is a Robusto. It is a five inch by 48. And it's a nice looking cigar. I mean, it's kind of lumpy, bumpy and veiny and all that in the wrapper. And that wrapper to me has a nice paper brown bag look to it. It's got kind of like a slight oil sheen to it, but to me, it's got tight seams, it's got a nice cap. It is a good looking cigar. And what really pops on this stick is the band. That band with the white, the reds, and the golds, it just really stands out. It's a good looking band, and it's definitely a cigar I'm really looking forward to smoking. So on that note, guys, let's cut the cigar up, light it up, and see how good it really is. Okay, the first takeaway I have for this cigar is that the for me the draw is very tight. It's got a very snug draw. I'm hoping that will loosen up. It's kind of interesting though because as you draw on the cigar, the head of it or the cap feels kind of spongy. So it's got this spongy texture as you're drawing it, but it's just hard time having a hard time pulling smoke in my mouth. But the flavor-wise, it's pretty good though. When you fill your mouth with the tobaccos, you get this rich tobacco from the draw. In that retro hell, you get this cream though. I mean, there's this there's the spice. There's a little bit of bite to that spice. It takes over that spice at the end of it. It's just like this thick cream, and it's actually a pretty good flavor. So. Definitely an interesting start. I really hope that draw will improve. I'll probably work on it here, see if I can loosen it up a little bit, but flavor-wise, it's definitely pretty impressive at this stage. And I believe the reviews I read on this cigar is that it's a mild to medium. At this stage, it doesn't taste like a mild cigar to me. Looking forward to see how it smokes. Um, I'll continue working on it and come back here with an update when I reach about the halfway point of the first third. So I have to say flavor wise, this is an interesting cigar. I mean, for me, I still get those tobacco notes that I described when I first uh, started drawing on the cigar. So those are still present. However, what I also get is almost like cedar chips. I get like this cedar chip type flavor. I mean, the retro hell is just nothing but spice. I mean, there's this spice in the retro hell. It's got this tanginess to it. It's almost, it's hard to describe at this point. It's almost like it's fruity, but I don't, I'm not tasting a fruity flavor. It's almost just like this tanginess to that spice. There's a hint of sweetness in there as well, but for the most part, those are pretty much all the flavors I'm getting in the cigar. Now, construction-wise, I am having issues with this stick. The burn for me has been pretty crooked. I do have a fan going when I'm not um, updating the review just because it's so warm out here. That may be contributing to the burn issue, so I don't want to count that against the cigar, but definitely a little bit of a crooked burn. The um, the ash for me is got this charred gray look to it. It doesn't have a nice white ash, but it does have a solid ash. It does seem to be hanging on quite well. Um, and for me, the draw is still a little bit snug. Now, I was kind of playing around with the cigar, trying to loosen it up, and it's very spongy. It's very marshmallowy. I mean, you can see it kind of given here, just that way all over. Uh, originally, when I was trying to loosen up the draw a little bit, right here towards uh, south, you know, just south of the band, all the way up to here, which is hard as a rock in there. So I think that's what's causing the snug draw. The draw to me has loosened up a tad bit, but it is still kind of snug. I'm still having a little bit of difficulty pulling smoke in my mouth, but 
Other than that, it's definitely an enjoyable cigar. I mean, it's not one that is completely blowing me away flavor-wise, but I am enjoying those flavors. Uh, I do find that they're interesting. I'm looking forward to see how the cigar changes as I progress through it. So I'll keep working on it, and I'll come back here with another update once I reach the end of the second third. Okay, I wanted to do a quick update before I actually burn through this band, and let me go ahead and take that off now because I want to save this if I can. But uh, flavor-wise, I have to say the cigar is actually more enjoyable. I mean, I'm, it's definitely was a good tasting cigar before, but I'm starting to enjoy the flavors a lot more now. Finally got the band off. And I, for me, the flavors, um, it's still pretty much the same flavors. It's just those, like that cedar wood chip flavor that I described in the last section, those completely dropped off for me. Pretty much get like a tobacco. I do get a spice in the draw as well. Now that Retro Hell has a very strong spice, and to me that spice has like a licorice type flavor. I don't think it's exactly licorice that I'm tasting, but it does remind me a lot of licorice in the flavors of it. Uh, there's also like a kind of a peppery bite. Now the spice for me has really increased in intensity. I mean, it kind of bites your sinuses. It does uh, catch your attention, but it's still overall definitely an enjoyable cigar. The flavors are very smooth. Uh, the only complaint I have with it still is that the draw is snug, so it does have some difficulty pulling smoke in your mouth. However, that being said, I did relight the cigar here towards the end of the second third. Seems like it's smoking a lot better now. Seems like I'm having an easier time pulling smoke, so that problem has kind of disappeared for me. And overall, definitely an enjoyable stick. I mean, flavor-wise, there's nothing overly complex about it. There's not a ton of different flavors that I'm picking up in this cigar, but I have to say, definitely an enjoyable smoke. It's definitely one that... Like I said earlier, I think it was listed as a mild to medium. For me, it's not a mild cigar. I think it's more along the lines of medium, especially in that Retro Hell. That Retro Hell does have some spicy bites to it. So I would classify this cigar more of a medium flavor cigar, but it's definitely one I think I could smoke at any time of the day as well. So yeah, no complaints with this stick other than some of those construction issues I've been talking about throughout this review. But overall, an enjoyable stick, one I'm looking forward to see how it finishes off. So I'll keep working on it, come back with an update once I reach the final third. All right, guys, it's time for me to wrap up this review. I'm having a hard time pulling smoke right here at the end. Plus, the cigar is getting pretty warm. It's starting to uh, burn my lips. But overall, I definitely enjoyed the cigar. And flavor-wise, the final third for me was very consistent with the previous section. I didn't really pick up anything different that I didn't describe in the last section. So, yes, this is one of those cigars that if you can get your hands on, I definitely recommend giving it a try. It was probably not my favorite Cuban, but it was definitely a good cigar. It's definitely one I would look forward to smoking again. So on that note, guys, if you've had this cigar before, let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next review.